hello everyone so welcome to my channel today I'm upgrading my Dell G15 Horizon Edition with an uh, SSD heat shield which is this I bought this from Amazon so this is the part number and also I bought a couple of these also from Amazon so this is the part number so it's which is an SSD uh, bracket so uh, without any further ado I will start to disassemble the laptop I've got graded uh, from 16 gigs to a HyperX 32 gigs and also I've also added the SSD there but I don't put the mounting bracket because I hadn't had uh, one uh, one year back so I bought this around uh, six months ago and I'm trying to do an upgrade right now so bear with me right now I'm planning to disassemble the laptop so I have here my trusty screwdriver I don't have fancy ones so I bought this from uh, a local like store yeah, I'll put it here just to have some views and I'll start to disassemble it so this is not the one So one screw is off, two screws are off. So I managed to unscrew it, the lid of uh, the laptop, and this is it. So as you could see here, I have upgraded the two themes I have uh, 16 and also 16 HyperX DDR4 and uh, here is the SSD uh, 512 that came with the laptop and this is the Fury one that I've added to this and uh, I'll try now to remove this and also to add the bracket so on and so forth that I could also secure it 
proper in this method. So I still hope that this is visible to you. Okay, this is it. Now to add the bracket itself. So this is how you add the bracket. The screw I'll put it here. Uh, put this like this and this like this and push it slowly. Securely, firmly, firmly in place. And also to add the um, lead. The heat shield, sorry. It came with two HHD. As you could see here, we have two screws for mounting the assist be against it and this is the Fury 2 terabyte SSD as you could see so yeah and I will try to add it here is visible for you guys okay this is it great now I need to add this So it will go like this. that I need to unscrew it and bend it a little to the other screw because it's not what I expected so yeah now it's straight and also remove the heat yeah so remove the heat uh, uh, sheet 
to have the proper heat uh, dissipation. So screw it just a little. And now it's secured in place, which is way better than I had previously. So this is it, how it looks. The the uh, G15 Horizon Edition. So uh, this is the, uh, uh, as you could know, so here is the Alienware uh, logo. I also have a bracelet uh, and connected to the ground in order to not have static here. And I will put the lid and. Uh, we will see the laptop running again. So right now I'm putting the lead, the lead back to the laptop. Push it in place. screw back screws back but not tighten yet so just uh, push it as they were a few revolutions and after that you could tighten hand tighten not over tighten because uh, if you over tighten them you'll uh, do nothing in this matter when you are, you are trying to disassemble again so be sure that you push it all the way Because you are, if you are not pushing all the way, they it will not be secured in place. And now is the hand tightened part. try to push and tighten all the screws and now the rest ones so those are from the bed are at an angle, 45 degree angle, and now everything is secured. So I'm not over tightening them, just check if I turn it all the way. This is the laptop. I will uh, lift the lift, lift the lid off, and uh, it yeah, has started.
started let's hope that we will have all the necessary things so yeah this is um, as you could see the Dell G15 Horizon Edition has already boot up and uh, I managed to log in and here are the SSDs so this is the one that came with the laptop so 512 gigabytes and this is the other one that I managed to insert it when I purchased the laptop and now I've upgraded with those two uh, brackets so this is the bracket to mounting the SSD because the Dell G15 Horizon Edition doesn't came with this and also here but I have another one so here is uh, the heat shield for the SSD I bought two one because I want to replace the one that came with the laptop uh, later on so I will add probably two uh, terabytes or maybe four terabytes of SSD instead of the 512 one that came with the laptop so that's all guys thank you for uh, seeing this video have a great day and see you soon